I love shredded tops because they're so easy to make for a five dollar DIY or even less this would be a great DIY today we are gonna be turning the basic t-shirt into a deconstructed shredded top We are getting back on the DIYs and this specific DIY is very special to me on a personal level. I'm asking you to like and subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos. I promise to deliver more contents about fashion and avant-garde and anything anti-fashion. There is an ongoing trend that renders the beauty of subverted basics. I don't know if you are noticing it or if you're picking up different new ones on streetwear or fashion, but I don't follow trends, but I do observe and I kind of feel like there is a redundancy and a recurrence on the runway or streetwear level. One specific piece that I want to delve upon is this shredded piece that was from the recent Fogashin collection. It certainly brought me joy that this collection is putting emphasis not only to futuristic themes and motifs but also on the raw deconstruction, a characteristic that has always been his ethos since his early days. Surprisingly, I have seen this deconstructed shredded piece from Ludovic Sanserna and this Shanghai-based fashion brand called Rui. For me, fashion is circular and evidently the shredded garment or the shredding technique has seen its heydays during the Tumblr days and during the peak of this grunge era. I would like to call it like second or third generation grunge following the popularity of grunge in the 90s. Kind of went strong during 2011, 2012 and also during that time the inception of personal style blogs have cemented DIY fashion. It was definitely a fun time I would say and I was one of those third generation grunge wannabes. I have first seen the shredded top from this LA based design named Raquel Allegra. That obsession to grunge and DIY was what motivated me to create a clothing line with my friend. And also prior to that, I have done different iterations. I have done it in like tank tops, dresses, scarves. I tried tie-dye shredded shirts. I was just obsessed to a point where I even tried squirting blood real blood on the shredded top. I did it safely, so it was fine. It's all for the work of art. But anyway, I love shredded tops because one, they're so easy to make. Secondly, it promotes the idea of repurposing. So if you've got like an old t-shirt, you can definitely give it a whole new life. Thirdly, I think it's also relaxing to do. It's kind of like you're crocheting, but the opposite way. It takes your mind off of things. I can't convince you enough. But now seeing the Wick Owen collection and Rui and Ludovic Sanserna, I think it is quite reassuring that grunge fashion is somehow making its way through the current landscape of fashion. Now the crucial part is getting the perfect fabric of the t-shirt. I do highly recommend getting a cotton t-shirt with polyester and elastane for that stretch. Just an example, I wouldn't recommend going to Uniqlo and getting those Airism t-shirts and I think it's very plasticky. It's not gonna work for this DIY. And secondly, the size of the t-shirt because we are gonna be shredding the t-shirts, we are stretching the threads. I would highly suggest that you get something small to extra small. If you are on the bigger side, medium is fine. But if you're planning to create like a super long garment, then go for it. So for this DIY, I chose this regular t-shirt. Yeah, it's made from 100% cotton. There is a bit of stretch. So the first step is you grab the t-shirt. You prepare yourself because you're gonna be annihilating the shit out of this shirt. This is what we need. Your t-shirt of choice. A Sim Reaper, but I don't have a Sim Reaper, so I'm gonna be using my trusty scissors. It's very tiny, so it's good for breaking down the seams and your fingers. So I think that's about it. So you pull the t-shirt inside out and in that way you can see the inner workings of the t-shirt. Then you go to the bottom lower hem and get a seam ripper. If you're also clumsy like me, you don't do this unsupervised. So we start ripping off the seams 
that's held the hem so I'm cutting it slowly and carefully until I manage to break free the stitching and once you get the hang of it you can just do it quickly at your own pace just pull off the hemline to break it free from the seams and if you're struggling it means that you miss ripping off some stitches so. the final result should be like this if you are a lazy bum you can just cut off the hem straight up but I want to look professional and now that the hem is gone we can start shredding so using your finger you pull the thread so with your left hand you pull it against opposite your right thumb so this is how it should look like on your end we start small and it will get bigger and bigger so this is the first panel and then we move on to the next until we reach the opposite end of the t-shirt so we go from point a to point b For the first few minutes, your shirt should look like this. This section has been done. We move on to another section. And I think once the bottom part has been shredded, it's gonna be super easy breezy to shred the whole shirt. This is how it should look like. <laughs> Long way to go. And the finished product should be like this. Like the lower hem should all be shredded. And from there, you can easily work the shredding on your way to the top. So the most common question that we get from clients is the aftercare. Now I do need to stress that you can't be putting them in the washing machine. I mean, maybe you can put them in the laundry bag to keep it secured. I remember throwing it once in the washer and it was like torn to bits and my mom found it and she chucked it in the bin because she thought it was like a rag. And another thing is to avoid wearing them if you're gonna be in a crowded place, like I was in this crowded bus and then I was on my way out, the shreds of my t-shirts were tangled in someone's bag or something and it was just so awkward and awful. Also because you're shredding the top, shredding the shirt, you have to expect that a certain part of your skin will be revealed. I would say layer it with something. I would probably do that as well because I don't like the idea of like showing my skin too much. You can actually wear them alone, layer it with a dress, wear them with a jacket to make it more dressier. The possibilities are endless. So I'm also going to be styling it with three outfits. So for outfit number one, this is my outfit. for outfit number two. for outfit number three. So there you go guys, I'm so surprised and I'm very happy that I was still able to do the shredding because I haven't done this in a while. Definitely love how eerily similar this 
shredded top to the runway version of Rick Owens. But of course, this is just a simple DIY and we've only used cotton. But for a $5 DIY or even less, if you have pre-existing shirts, then this will be a great DIY. And again, I just want to reiterate how this DIY is self-fulfilling in terms of expressing your own personal touch. Because this is handmade only by you and the shredding will heavily depend on your art and your vision. And with that being said, I hope you have fun and also tag me on Instagram because I would really like to see your project. And that's it. We have finally arrived to the end of this video and I'm wrapping this up and maybe fix the mess that I did. Have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Like, subscribe, and share.